you know, I do appreciate everybody coming out this morning. I'd like to welcome you. Also, the first thing I'd like to do is, is to thank the city manager and the mayor for allowing us to have this press conference at the steps of, on the steps of City Hall. You know, we could have gone a variety of different places, but they were, they were extremely cordial in allowing us to come and voice our opinion and also take a stand on our Valdosta Austin City School System. So if you have a chance to see them, tell them thank you from, from the citizens of Valdosta for allowing us to come to the beautiful grounds right here on Central Avenue. You know, first thing I want you to understand is why we're here. We're here to save our school. That's the bottom line. Yes, sir. We're, there's no other, there is no other objective that I can tell you other than we're here to save our schools. And let me explain to you why we're so late in trying to save our schools. And I want to be honest with you. We were scared. We were intimidated because we had heard about all these consultants coming down and all these studies being done. So we just thought that we would just sit back and watch and this thing would eventually go away like a bad dream. But folks, I want you to know it's not going away like a bad dream. It's becoming a nightmare. And now we stand before you with one purpose in mind, and that is do not sign any petitions. If petition, if you've already signed the petition, then that's okay. If it comes to a vote, then we want you to vote no. That's the only thing that I want you to do. Now, when and why and how would I ever be in favor of consolidation? First of all, if I could be told that it would benefit our children, if our children would get, be able to get a better education in a, in a merged system, then I'll be the first one to tell you, hey, let's consolidate. But I can tell you, everybody that's on the opposite side cannot guarantee you that we'll have a better system for our children. Why? Because no one on the other side is a Board of Education member for either Lowndes or Valdosta. We hold our public officials accountable. Can you hold QE accountable? No. 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 If it fails, who do you go to? If your child has to get on the bus before day in the morning, who do you call? Can you call QE and say, you told me that the Justice Department doesn't require busing anymore. But there's a buzzword that they, they failed to mention to you that's called minority and majority district. And how do you get to minority majority district? Well, you get to that point by getting on a yellow school bus. Nobody can tell me what will happen to the Valdosta City Schools 1971 DSEG order. Nobody that I know of can tell me. Why? Why can't we select a county and city in the state of Val in the state of Georgia that has gone through this process? You know the reason why? There's not one. There's not one. So where do we go? We go to Tennessee. Tennessee knows how to do it. But let me tell you something about Tennessee and Valdosta. We have a history. If you travel down North uh, Forest Street and you get to the corner of Forest and Inner Perimeter and you look at the corner and you see this monstrosity with no windows that's built with no, with no walls, then you see what we got from Tennessee. We got that open classroom concept. They sold us on that. So now we're going back to Tennessee to learn how we're going to better improve our schools. Haven't we learned our lesson from Tennessee? Yeah. <laughs> Haven't, what, what is it going to take for Valdosta to understand that Tennessee is a great state and we humbly believe that there's some good citizens in Tennessee, but it does not match what we have here in Valdosta, Lowndes County. Now, nobody can tell me what 